We're on the 14th green today and I'm going to do a quick video regarding uh, the 2017 Open Champion and that is Jordan Spieth. So I'm going to do a quick quick 2 minute or 3 minute video on regarding the science behind Jordan Spieth's putting stroke. So when he gets to the or closest inside 5 feet he looks at the hole. So why is it important to look at the hole or why does he do that? So when he looks at the hole that's so there's there's two things it's perception and action so what i mean by that is how we perceive the putt and how we deliver the action so jordan spieth obviously one of the best probably one of the best putters in the world what he does he is more task orientated so task based instead of technical based so what i mean by that is he's focusing on the task in hand what's in front of him instead of the technical side of it so jordan spieth what he, what he does is obviously and he grips the putter. The putter is his left below his left hand is below his right hand, and almost his eyes are slightly inside the golf ball as it as as if he was hitting a full shot. What that does for him, because he has his left hand below his right, that lowers his shoulders to the ground. It allows the stroke to be allows the left wrist to extend more through impact and lead into impact. So that flat left wrist is going to be maintained because he puts a lot of pressure on the back of the left hand because if you were to flip it from there then you're obviously pushing with the right hand so Jordan Spieth what he does is he'll get over the putt and he'll look at the hole so because he's looking at the hole that eliminates any anxiety any tension within the hands so the more you look at the hole this loosens off your grip pressure any tendency to flip with the hands is caused by a lot of anxiety and tension so tension plagues the, the putting stroke because of a quite a tight grip pressure, not using the shoulders as correctly as we would like. So see a lot of golfers who you tell them to look at the golf ball, but when they look at the golf ball, they think about more problems over such a short period of time. So uh, this is my opinion of Jordan Spieth putting stroke. So what he does is he'll look at the hole. So he'll take his address position left below, below right ball, sort of in the middle of his stance. What John Spieth will do is he'll look at the target. So from here, if he looks at the target, that will help him understand his length of stroke and how hard he needs to hit it in order to get the ball up to the hole. So a lot of golfers who get over the golf ball, what they'll do is they'll stare at the golf ball for quite a while and they're not really that sure about how to take the club back or the putter back and what line the putter should track on. So because John Spieth's got such a... A unique approach and um, what that allows him for it enables him to understand how he has to take the putter back in order to achieve the, the result so he's more task based what I mean by task based is instead of it's instead of him hitting ball after ball after ball in the range working on his takeaway and his backswing and all that rig me roll what he does is he's more task it's, he's more task based so how how he focuses on specific shot instead of working on the any. If I was to throw a ball, I wouldn't be th working on anything technical. I'd be just trying to think, oh, how how far do I need to propel the ball over there to get the ball to go hit that target? So what we need to do is understand so how we perceive it and how we deliver the action. So if we perceive it differently from what Jordan Swiss does, and if we deliver the action differently, then we should get into a better habit of doing that. So what we need to do, left hand below right, look at the hole. Because we look at the hole, that allows us to use the shoulders more. So if I was to snatch the club back, then that will make the club face a little bit open. Or if I was to put it outside, that will make it outside the swing path, that will make it a little bit closed. So we need to get into a habit of looking at the hole. If, well, you don't have to get into habit, but you can always try it. So look at the hole, and if I look at the hole, I'm just relying on my, the feel in my hands to get to deliver the club in the correct position or the ideal position. So look at the hole, just push your hands back and through, and that'll help you work on strike as well. So if the strike's at the toe, it'll come up short. If it's at the middle, it'll go online. So it's important to understand that method. So if you've got any thoughts on that video, so the science behind Jordan Speed's putt and stroke, if you've got any thoughts on it, let me know. Subscribe to my channel at JML and Golf if you feel like my tips are helping you. And to follow me on Instagram at Jamie Allen Golf, Facebook at Jamie Allen Golf, and Twitter at Jamie Allen Golf, and let me know your thoughts. Thank you, guys. Um, just a follow up from my video. 
the one I just done on Jordan, the science behind Jordan Smith's punch stroke. There was a survey, there was a survey collected, and basically what what it entailed was, is there a much of a difference between people looking at the target and looking at the golf ball throughout the punch stroke? There wasn't, there wasn't much change in that. So there, there wasn't a lot of change in the, the the better results in putting. So what there's no variability in that. So another thing that what we talked about was obviously having your eyes towards the hole instead of the golf ball. That'll have set any tendency for you to lift your head up. So if you start with your head in the golf ball, a lot of golfers don't aren't very assu assu assured of the timing. So they'll get over the golf ball, and from here, what they'll do is they'll lift their head up. What that does is pulls your arms up. That'll make you hit the, the ball off the top of the... That'll make you hit the, the putter off the top of the ball. And from here again, if I look at the target, my shoulders stay level with the ground. The minute I lift my shoulders, that changes the swing arc. So try and keep your shoulders towards the ground by looking at the hole on short putts. That will allow you to keep your head in a steady position and focus on keeping your head in that position. So if you've got any thoughts on that, let me know.